Happy Thanksgiving, all American G4G fans, and happy November 26th. If you are not in the States celebrating Thanksgiving, welcome to G4G. I'm Napalm Dolan. Today we're in Marvel Duel taking a look at the new update, which introduces Black Widow themed heroes and cards. So, let's go ahead and take a look. Now, last night I went ahead and got some crystals so that I can buy the hero pack. And it looks like we also have two rewards over here for uh, their maintenance period over here. It's kind of a standard reward and then I guess they must have been down a little bit longer uh, than they planned because we have an extra reward. I gotta ask everybody, did this suit did this fist for captain marvel always kind of have this fire effect and everything maybe i just haven't been uh paying attention to it but i feel like i don't remember her fist being on fire like that so the new season pass if we look at the rewards we have the the two layers we have the advanced season pass and then the regular one. So they're starting us off with the random hero crystals kind of early. We had this towards the end of the last season pass. If you got above 50, uh, you would get these that look like dice. We have the uh, fast forward. We have probably Black Widow crystals over here. At 10, we have... Natasha Romanov, when played, assemble an intelligence of your current opponent. So intelligence is the new mechanic from the Black Widow related cards. I actually haven't looked into this yet. So I'm uh, going to be experiencing all of this live with you over here. So it's a support for three and it drops as an eight, which is actually um, pretty good. But assemble three random cards. We know that. At the start of the battle, reduce the power of the corresponding character by intelligence level times 5. It can only assemble up to one intelligence even when you perform a starburst. So, I think we really need to figure out what the intelligence part is. On the advanced, we have Yelena. Speed strike, cloaked, and when she is dropped, add a tactics card with a cost no more than the shop level to the shop. Speed Strike, we know what this is. This is sort of like, um... Uh, there's mechanics in Hearthstone and Magic that do this. When attacking, this card deals damage before the attacked character does. So what that means is, if she, as a 6, hits somebody who is a 4, she will do all of her 6 damage, which will kill the card, and it won't have time to retaliate. So she won't take the 4 damage. Cloaked. The opponents must attack characters without cloaked first. Cloaked characters will lose cloaked when taking damage. So, this is something that I predicted was going to happen when I was talking with a uh, fan of the channel, Darth Plato. We mentioned there's going to be a cloaked mechanic, and I called it out and said, Sounds like invisibility from Hearthstone. And sure enough, it absolutely was. Kind of expected that. All right, coming forward, the next big one that we have is at 20, where we get Spy's Ball. Assemble intelligence card of your current opponent. Gain two more copies of it. You can counter your opponent's most powerful character, best used with Widow's Aim. It would be nice if these blues were links to the thing that they're talking about. You're, thanks to the web, you're almost conditioned that it will do that. That if you like click this, it'll take you there. Um, still need to figure out exactly what intelligence is. Over here we have Ivan Petrovich. Cloaked again. After launching an attack, give the adjacent uh, Black Widow agent characters plus five power and cloaked. Ooh, wow. That sounds interesting. Can increase the power of agents. Works great with Ronin. So coming through, more of the crystals, kind of standard over here. And then at 30, we have Mask of the Skies. 
special action reveal an intelligence card summon a copy of the corresponding character on the battlefield give them the agent's keyword trigger four times in battle it's going to be a support item can create a copy of the opponent's most powerful character that sounds pretty cool red guardian shield Applicable characters, all guardians, plus three power, plus three armor. After a friendly cloaked agent character takes an action, give them plus three power, plus three armor. Wow. The use on characters with iron will. I always like to see good guardian uh, equipment like that. So we have a Black Widow emote that shows up over here. It looks like we'll also have another one. And at 40, we have the big spots. Widow's Aim. Once per battle before an opponent takes an action. That's bad English over there. Once per battle before an opponent taking action. Oof, that's really bad. If you have their level 2 or higher intelligence card, deal 200 damage to them? Wow. Yikes, that sounds like an ego killer. Almost literally. And then we actually have Black Widow as a card. Assault, take action. Invocation, game two random intelligence card of your current opponent. And try not to repeat each other after taking an action. If you control intelligence cards of all your opponents, defeat two opponents with the highest power. Ooh. Complex. Collect as much intelligence as you can, and this card will be able to defeat many opponents with highest power on each action. She just sounds like, uh, like a real sniper deck. And at 50, we have a card back, and we have the actual suit for Black Widow, which is the Fear Itself suit. Pretty common. Uh, there's lots of representations of Black Widow with the... Um, the fear itself suit we saw in the Marvel Heroes. We're seeing it in Marvel's Avengers. So here is the booster unlock for 88 Crystal. So you get 10 of her packs and a bunch of her cards. So there's a couple over here that we haven't seen yet. Motorcycle Escape. Reminds me a lot of um, Winter Soldier. And of course, uh, Ultron. We also had her with the motorcycle in Ultron too, where she picks up the cap shield. She's like always picking up after you guys. When there is only one character left on your battlefield, summon a random five or six cost aging character. Give them plus 12 power and annihilate. Yeesh. You can paralyze your opponent if you summon a Black Widow for yourself. Damon Drawn. Somebody who I've never heard of before. It looks like somebody in a space helmet suit of Ultron. When other friendly agent characters take action, this card gains plus 7 armor. Hmm. Dodge Strike. Once per battle, when a friendly cloaked agent character takes no more than 16 damage, block that damage. Can be used to counter AoE. Ronin's Chain Scythe, applicable characters for attack only, plus 10 power before launching attack under the cloak state, steal 15 power from the target. Ooh, it's probably going to just wipe out a lot of cards. Recluse, for support, cloaked. So she's just standard support that starts off cloaked. Widow's Gauntlets, for support characters, puncture. Deal two damage, trigger three times in each battle. That sounds like that's really good for um, intergalactic war skill decks. Anything that enhances support tends to work really well with that deck. And once per battle, when a friendly agent character is attacking an opponent with a higher power of the game, ooh, it's a little bit of a trump card there. Black Widow herself, before a friendly cloak agent take action, they steal 10 power, 10 armor from the opponent with the highest power. Sounds like that's good for Asp decks and um, Asgardian decks. There we 
All right, and there she is, unlocked. It's um interesting what they do with her art in this. The reason why I say that is, like here, this art off to the side looks a little bit different, like uh, than her art. When I saw this last night, it actually looked um, Charlize Theron-ish. That's I saw that face. I was like, hmm, that looks like more like Charlize Theron. And, of course, we have a couple other things in the store. Supreme Hero Skill. One Random Hero Skill. Hero Pack Vouchers. Um, I wonder exactly what this does. Gain a non-default Hero Skill at random. I wonder if that's like a permanent unlock. And that's the reason why it's so expensive. So if we look at Superhero. There's my Angela from the last season. Which is a skin for Thor. Uh, I totally admit at first I was a little screwed up by that. I thought it was going to be a different hero, not a skin. And as was pointed out to me, it's like, uh, nap, don't be an idiot. She'd have to have her own cards and everything. Clearly she was going to be a skin. I was like, oh. Yeah. Alright, that makes sense. Alright, so here's Black Widow. Her skills, passive skill, when a cloak character lost, lose. Wow, the English is really bad in this patch. Yikes. I mean, I know this is in the Pacific Rim territories where this is live, but this the English is super bad in this patch. When a cloaked character loses cloaked, give the adjacent characters plus four power. At the start of a turn, at the start of the turn, gain, yeah, all right. At the start of the turn, Gain one random intelligence card of your current opponent. Try not to repeat the intelligence cards you already have. I still really got to figure out what exactly intelligence is. So there's her default skin. And there's the one from the season pass or the shop. Uh, she goes down to 22 health and gains one more battle gem on start. That's, that's really where I thought. I mean that face right there looks like Shirley's Theron to me uh hero emojis you know the funny thing is with that gold gloves and the way the red hair is this looks like phoenix to me it doesn't exactly look like black widow so much as it looks like phoenix especially her marvel strike force representation so let's go with that hella and electra these are my like two favorite Taunty emotes over there. The Electra one, the Hella one. Three straight wins. Uh, we'll go with Hydra. And Battle Start will go with the Wave. I like this extra customization that they do now. Um, it's pretty cool. And if we go over to Collection, we go to Card Adjustments. Outriders got a boost. Um... Not really too much of a boost to their actual power, but uh, the Outriders boost going up from 1 to 3 is pretty good. Tony Stark not assembling cards. Yeah, we know that. All the stuff we've, uh, we've covered before. I truly feel like the changes to the Tony Stark one, unfortunately, it gets rid of your pure advantage to doing this. It used to be like... If you summoned Tony Stark and he said, okay, I will give suitcase armor to people, that was great because unless they had a Iron Man deck or Iron Man cards, suitcase armor was going to be useless. So you got the gems, which is the good, and you gave people an absolutely crap piece of equipment. So you completely benefited from it. Um... This would never come back and bite you in the ass, but like Drax daggers could or Electra's size or something like that. So it, it took away really, it, it kind of just takes away the negative of using that card. Iron Maiden, at the start of a battle for each non-character card in your hand, this card gains one power. Ooh, now we're expanding out into sort of the Warlock territory from Hearthstone. Now, all of a sudden, your hand matters. Very interesting. This could play hell with the way flow goes with your gems and everything. Um, 
sometimes like I'll pick up an abominations might and hold on to it and not use it because I'm like, oh, I'm about ready to fight a guy who's really down the ladder. Maybe I want to hold this to later in the game um, or hold an abominations might for somebody who I don't have out yet. Now I get a little bit of a benefit for that. Interesting. Okay, nothing particularly crazy over here. There's the new Outrider. Red Wing. When a friendly attack character enters the battlefield, give them plus win power. So it's it's sort of like Falcon. Early stage core. Yeah. Well, Falcon does it on drop. It's uh, a lot like the shield agent. Pretty cool for maybe getting an early uh, ego or uh, gladiator going. Electroshock batons. Attack characters get plus three power. The first time you get a non-character card, give the equipped character plus three. Ooh. Hmm. I think that means when you pull down um, equipment or action-related ones. Uh, Photon force field, that's been around. Galactic Gateway. MODOK. Which I never, I've seen maybe, I've seen one Killmonger ever get dropped on the field, and I've only seen one MODOK ever. Just not common cards. There's Elena, who we've talked about. Actually, let's see what it's like to try and create her. Yeah, she's expensive. That's kind of what I figured. Nothing new over here, other than Damon, who we've looked at. Definitely don't know who that is. We've seen Natasha. Nothing out of the ordinary over here. Actually, you know what? We could just go to Black Widow. Red Room Training. At the start of the turn, gain one random intelligence card of your current opponent. Try not to repeat with the intelligence cards you already have. Again, still really curious as to what the intelligence mechanic will be. Mask of Disguise, Spies Ball, here's Red Guardian himself, Iron Will, Retaliate, Assault, and Last Words. Give the adjacent characters cloaked. Hmm. So it looks like he'll cloak people at the start of battle, but then he'll cloak people when he dies. Believe it or not, though, he's not actually a guard. You're going to probably have to get guard on him through one of the shields or something like that. Perhaps could be good with the shackles. Actually would be very good with the shackles because of the retaliate. Here is Dark Star. When played, assemble an intelligence card of your current opponent. Each intelligence card can reduce seven more power. I guess it's a little bit of a spy infiltration that you, when you gain an intelligence, you probably randomly reduce the power. Yeah, all right. I think I'm begin. I'm think I'm understanding now what that's going to wind up being. Uh, that's the fear itself, Black Widow. We've seen that. Here's Ronin, but not Hawkeye. After launching an attack, deal N damage to the characters adjacent to the target, where N equals half of this card's power. So we probably do a direct 12 to whoever is in front of him, and then. Uh, excuse me, 24, and then splash 12. What does he get up to? Oof. Yikes. That's big. This is... Ooh. I wonder if this is going to have the power levels of, like, a new Ego. I wonder if that's going to be kind of like the new Ego card for massive damage. For support characters, Puncture. Special action. Deal 10 damage to all opponents that you have their intelligence card in your hand. Trigger three times. Again, I think this is a good one for like a Kamala. Um, skill damage decks. This sounds pretty good. Not Marvel, because he only goes off of... Um, he only goes off of uh, intergalactic damage. Ooh. Oh, a random card back. Oh, that's cool. 
I like that idea. If you're not necessarily wanting to go ahead and flaunt what you've done or paid for, you just don't, you want a little bit of variety in your card backs. Uh, that's pretty cool. Shield Specialist, Shield Commander. I like this one. This Asgardian one looks cool. And this Black Widow one looks like it'll be awesome too. Still got all this stuff in my bag over here. Actually, let's go ahead and open some Black Widow packs. So get one pack for free. Ooh, the disc belt. And the electroshock batons. Alright, so the blue for Hyperion was not that great, but we picked up two Black Widow cards. That's good. And let's do a fiver and see what we get. So we got Widow's Aim, we got Damon, we got Natasha. The rocket launcher, Spies Ball. Recluse times three. The Widow's Gauntlet, more Electroshock Batons, and Ronin's Wrath. Once per battle, when friendly agent character is attacking opponent with higher power. Yeah. Cool. That actually beats up the Black Widow collection pretty well. Alright guys, so that's a look at the update that we've got over here. Uh, looks like for my season pass today. I have Hela and Iron Man, so probably won't get to Black Widow for a little bit. Uh, eight Guardians of the Galaxy keywords and four or more Stark Industries in the front line for the win. And I finished up last season getting into Black Gold. Uh, towards the end, trickled in there, and of course now down to Platinum, which is probably where I'll be for the majority of the season. And... Stay tuned to the channel for some more videos on this where I actually take Black Widow decks out on the field and see what they're like. So what do you think about this update? I really think Black Widow decks are going to be really strong. I feel like they almost counter a few things out there uh, in the meta. Maybe with an explosive trap and some other things. I think perhaps the Ego decks or the super beefed up Gladiator decks are probably going to start getting picked at. Um, a little bit. That's just kind of my first glance thought over there. And I also think they'll probably have some decent synergy with um, skill damage decks. So what do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Let's talk about it. Have a good one, guys.